Yes. A new report suggests that the growing rate of rental costs in Toronto is actually starting to ease. Perhaps that's a little bit of good news. Our Kayla Williams live along Queen's Key this morning with more on that story. Uh, maybe a little sliver of hope here for renters, Kayla. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, Nick. A sliver of hope, according to this new rentals.ca report that's coming out, showing that the rental rate as far as year over year going up 2.3% in September. Now, that is the slowest rate of growth for rental prices in the city over the last two years. But it goes without saying, every Torontonian and those in Ontario know that the rental prices have been very high for the last several years here in Ontario. Now, is there relief in some well, it hasn't quite arrived just yet. Residents in Toronto are still paying an average of $2,900 a month for a one-bedroom and over $3,400 a month for a two-bedroom. And Toronto remains the third most expensive city in the country, uh, only uh, behind Vancouver as well as Burnaby, B.C. Now, areas in the GTA that still remain quite high include Oakville at just over $2,900 per month for a one-bedroom. Brampton is at just over $2,700 a month, Etobicoke over 2,600. Now, one thing also to note in this new report, Nick and Jen, is that the number of people searching for shared accommodation, so we're talking about finding a roommate in order to help with these high costs of living here in the rate in, in the province, that is, and specifically here in the GTA, uh, searching for a rental property with a shared roommate has gone up 78%. So, of course, that is definitely a sign of the times of people trying to accommodate and trying to work around just the overall living cost here in the city. We'll send it back to you. Okay, CP24 is Kayla Williams reporting along Queen's Key this morning. Thank you, Kayla.